Alrighty. What we have is unmordant, unmodified. Unmordant, modified with vinegar. Mordant with alum, unmodified. Same thing down through here. Unmodified, unmordant. Modified, mordant, un, modified, mordant. Now tomorrow what we'll do is, is we'll actually take these three samples that we took here that were put in with a mordant of alum and then we will put them in the, when we pull these out, we will put them in the modifier of the vinegar and see what color we get there. So we should have four samples per. We also have the regular wool yarn that went in there, but we also have the cotton muslin that went in there and we also have the soy silk that went in there. So we got cotton, animal, two different types of and, uh, cotton, animal, and a synthetic silk. So we're going to see how all that does. Uh, we're going to leave this up here on the counter for tonight uh, in case we need to use it because that's a good thing about the Allen Mordant. You can actually use it more than once. Maybe if you'll hand me the lid. So we'll keep that because I have some other plants that I might throw in here for another touch batch, test batch. So anyway, y'all come back tomorrow and let's see where we go from there, all right? Hey y'all, welcome back from North Mississippi. It's Laura here at Windmill Farm. We are doing the second day of our dyeing experiment. Um, if you remember the last video we Actually, had... Third day. Oh, third day, sorry. Um, we had our dye baths set up. Now we've already taken everything out of this one and we're working on the bowl. Um, and we'll show you all the results side by side on our little makeshift table we have over here. Um, so far, some of them have been so-so. Um, and we've had at least one that has just been wow. So, hang out with us. You know, it's us. And it's always an adventure doing something crazy. So what Larry's doing is, is when he takes it out of the dye bath here, you've got to rinse it out and you've got to try to rinse it out until the water runs clear. And what you're hoping is, is that the mordant or the modifier has actually held onto the color in the fiber so that it stays. Um, this is spider wart that we're doing now. And there's some color change, it is a little darker. Uh, we have some other things where we want to try with the spider wart. Um, the next time we do it. Are you having fun yet? Oh yeah, of course. Just tired. 12 hours at work today. Yeah, <laughs> both of us 12 hours today. But, all right, we're coming to play. All right, so this is the Coriopsis with the vinegar bath. Does it look like it's holding? Yeah. And this is going to be a true gold. Especially on that soy silk. Mm -hmm. Y'all, this camera does not do that kind of justice. 
All right, we're going to get these all rinsed out, and we'll come back and show you the results here in just a minute. Last piece. Well, we got some pieces going back in for a uh, 48 hour cold. Yeah, and we're going to tell you all about that here in a minute, but we're going to look at the results that we have so far. Now, we do have to preface that all of our samples are still wet and there's a possibility of further color change as they dry, so. A little temporary table here. But I promise you. This is Coreopsis, no mordant, no modifier. Coreopsis, modifier vinegar. Coreopsis, and no mordant. Coreopsis, no modifier, alum mordant. And that goes the same here with your um, phlox. This is phlox with nothing added to it. It's just the fabrics in there. Modifier vinegar, no mordant. No modifier, mordant's alum. This is our bare sample of everything. This gives you a baseline of what the colors look like beforehand. This once again is our spider wart in by itself. Spider wart with a modifier of vinegar, no mordant. Spider wart with a no modifier mordant vinegar, I mean mordant um, alum. Now we have noticed, like take this piece right here of this Coreopsis. Notice, you... notice how when I pick it up, notice where it, that part of the box that was at. Notice it, it stayed one color. There's a chemical in the box. If you notice that orange, it's turning. There's a chemical in this box that's reacting with it, probably with the alum. I'm gonna try to get it laid down as flat as I can on here because I like the orange that it's turning. So this is kind of turned into a new thing. We're fixing to get it all up and hang it up anyway and get it off the box. We just had to have something to put it down on to show y'all. Yep. So we're gonna go and start the next part of this experiment. So come on along with us. Hey y'all, um, as Kat alluded, we've got one more test we're gonna do. You see that we did it without anything, with a mortify, uh, modifier only and with a mordant only. Now what we did here is we have some samples that we did in the mordant of alum yesterday and we still have our vinegar mix of our three colors here, which is a modifier. So now we're going to put, we're going to do this and do it as a cold bath for 48 hours of modifier of vinegar, mordant of alum. Folks, if you've never died before, dying is like chemistry class in school. And the unique thing about doing this kind of stuff is, um, literally, you never know what you're going to come up with. Um, the Coreopsis flower kind of came out the way we thought it would. It came out yellow, but some of the others didn't come out quite like we thought they were. All right, this is the first one that's going in the Coreopsis vinegar, okay? But the unique thing is, is you sometimes get some colors that are just not even what you would even hardly fathom that it came from. And that's what's unique about this. That's that's the fun part of this, people, is you get to get to play with things and, and see what you know, see what Mother Nature gives you when her little chemistry sets come together. So this will probably all give us different colors again. Alright. I just wish we could get the rose color in the spider ward. Yeah, and again, folks. It's that's really about the closest we can get you on this film. To what you're actually seeing there in the jar is that gorgeous rose color and I really wish we could get it well maybe and with the modifier and mortar we might have to use something like a copper or something you know there's no telling we might have to. what we have to use and then last but not least the flocks okay let me cover that up right. and the only reason I covered up people is sometimes bugs believe it or not bugs will change the entire outcome so that's one reason why I uh, cover them up when I'm doing this. 
is simply to keep the bugs out of them because like I said, you'd be surprised. One bug can get in there and can, can completely contaminate and change. And sometimes it's for a good thing, but most of the time it's not. Most of the time when you get bugs or you get other things that added in there, normally turns just a blacky gray, just just an ugly color. I don't know how to explain it. So, but uh, we're gonna clean up here and uh, get that stuff up actually hanged up to dry. So, hey look, y'all come back in two days with us, finish this experiment up when we get this pulled out and uh, put up where y'all can see it. Um, that's when we'll actually, this video will actually be posted. I hate to say it, but this is, this video is taking us a week because of drying times, because of times to be in the pots and, and everything else. So. And it's entirely possible you may see it in two parts. So if you're depending watching on what part the, two. <laughs> depending on what the, yeah, depending on the time limit, I'm not going to make somebody sit here for 30, 40 minutes. I'll split it up into 15 or 20 minute segments. Uh, be quite honest with you, if he makes it out to 45 minutes, I'll probably split it in three segments just because I don't like, I'm like y'all when I'm watching video, I don't mind watching 10 to 15 minutes. Be quite honest with you. <clears throat> it has to be a really, really good video for me to watch past 12, 15 minutes. So I think about that same way when I'm making my videos. So anyway, y'all come back in two days. Let's see what happens with these cold baths with both a mortar and a modifier on them. And let's see what we get then. All right, y'all.